The dummy that we're using for today's test, he's a hybrid three dummy representing a, uh, an average adult male, specifically designed for frontal impact testing. He's been sat indoors overnight to get him to the, the right temperature. He has to be maintained at a temperature between 19 and 22 degrees centigrade. So we soak, temperature soak the dummy overnight to get him to that temperature. In today's test, this car will be stationary and we'll be running a, uh, a trolley with a deformable honeycomb impactor on the front of it at 90 kilometers an hour into the, the front end of this car. The test today uh, is uh, an offset test. Uh, generally on the road, cars do not hit each other head on as drivers <laughs> tend to try and avoid each other. Um, so we hope that this test will be more representative of the type of accidents that occur on the road than the standard concrete block test. The dummy has to wear clothing because he, he has a rubber skin and the clothing influences the, the friction between the, the seat belt and, and the skin. So he has a, a set of clothing which for the sake of repeatability is the same for every test and is defined. His shoes, in the same way, the friction between the bottom of the shoe and the, the floor can influence the way in which the dummy moves and the results that we get from the dummy. Information goes from the dummy via the cables that you can see to uh, a data acquisition unit at the back of the car. Typically that records at 20 kilohertz, which means that it records 20,000 pieces of information per channel per second. After six painstaking hours of preparation, it's time for action. Right, John, I'm getting out of the way. Are you all set down there, Rugley's over? Crash test dummies have played a huge role really in car safety over the, the last 10 to 15 years. Before that it was really a question of looking at how the car itself deformed. Dummies can give us some information about the likely injury that real life occupant would have seen if he or she were in the car. At present dummies are being used to test car safety innovations like Volvo's side impact passenger air cushions. Greater motorcycle collision protection. And these underbonnet pedestrian airbags from Toyota. But for our test dummy, there's a more pressing issue how to get out of the car. The dummy is recalibrated every 10 tests. He will be sent away, every part of him will be checked over, his neck will be checked over, his head will be checked over, to make sure that they are within certain physical tolerances. In this test, the chances are the driver would have died from crash injuries. Sadly, for our hybrid three dummy, his days may also be numbered. Take a bow, four. Thor is the world's most sophisticated dummy with extra realistic human joints and limbs. He costs around £100,000 and it's believed he will eventually commit the Hybrid 3 into the dummy dustbin of history. <laughs>